Also, I don't know if you see the scratches all over my forearms. Wow, you can't even see them that well. Anyway, it's just because I love my cat so hard and she loves me hard back. Okay, well, look, nobody cares about that. <laughs> This is the first time I've been behind the wheel of a car in maybe two years. All right, first of all, it's not like the turn the key in the ignition type of car. You press on the brake and press a button. Come on, 2020. So I don't need these. All right, now I just need to move this forward. This is a newer car for me. I'm used to 1998 Bonneville. Wow, brake is on the left. Gas is on the right. My tunes. So I thought today would be the best day to just be the most basic I've ever been. Take a TikTok idea, drive through Starbucks, and try a modified fall drink. Maybe get basic bitch tattooed on my forehead while we're at it. <laughs> okay, maybe this is a bad idea. I'm regretting all of a sudden. Oh look, there's a screen below you that shows me what's behind me. Oh, some, there's a car behind me that's giving me anxiety. Can everyone see that I'm filming this? <laughs> okay, Woo! I'll be driving like a grandma because I haven't driven in a long time and because I don't want this to fall. Oh my God, there's a car behind me. Why are you behind me? Danny, breathe. Oops, stop sign. Oh, my God, this is a bad idea. Okay. Oh, this is a red light and I don't know if you can turn right on red in Colorado because you can't in New York, but you can in Michigan. <gasps> just for fun. I should have asked. Okay, this person, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> that was probably the worst it could have gone. I got lost. It's literally a square. I ended up driving over a highway. You turned passed my street again, turned left onto the wrong street, got Siri involved, turning in here. You couldn't see the oncoming traffic because of the oncoming left turners. Almost got run over. <sighs> How was it that bad? Wow. So I'm gonna go in Starbucks and I'm going to order iced vanilla chai with pumpkin sweet cold foam, light ice almond milk. Anyway, okay, stay tuned. Mmm. It's really good, it's really sweet. Mmm! Now for the impossible breakfast sandwich. Also, I feel so basic today, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna give it a try. I guess I should taste it before putting the basic bitch sriracha on it. Okay, here we go. Mmm, tastes like sausage to me and I'm the ultimate meat eater. I've never sat in this particular location of my room, but my last video, I was sitting on the bed, so switching it up. This happens every time. Danny, not how it's spelled, but I'm fine with that. You didn't like your spot that I put here for you? I haven't really addressed the pandemic at all. It's obviously what's taking over our lives right now. A lot has obviously changed since the beginning of the year. I started out 2020 as a 20 something in a great long distance, but great relationship, living on my dream cruise ship, dancing and traveling the world, to now as a single unemployed 30 something living in Colorado with my mom. <laughs> All great things. It's just, I never would have expected I would be here based on how I started the year. And I feel like we all went through and are still going through different phases of the pandemic. Like there's different stages of grief. I feel like there's multiple stages of being in a freaking COVID pandemic. For a lot of us, it started out exciting, especially being on a ship. A lot of us didn't know the severity of it. So we were told we weren't gonna have guests for a whole month and it's like, score. Sorry. Then when I figured out we were all gonna go home about three and a half months early, that's when the fear and anxiety kicked in because I started realizing how serious it was. Fear and anxiety kind of turned into depression. At least it did for me. This pandemic, like you could not have planned for it. It was something else. For a good two months, I was for the first time in my life depressed. Then I felt like a lot of us who were really, really down finally realized how great it was to be handed this break from life. We started taking advantage of our free schedules. I started taking care of myself, dance class like three days a week. I finally felt productive. I was like, no, I'm never gonna have this much time 
let's go. But then the next stage was more acceptance and being grateful for like the small things. In the previous stage, I was being productive because I felt I had to. In the acceptance gratitude phase, I felt like I was doing it because I wanted to. I was having fun. I didn't feel like I was stressed. I wasn't putting myself under any pressure. I wasn't forcing myself to do something I didn't want to do. Then when you start to really accept and feel comfortable where you are, that can sometimes turn into laziness. I was taking advantage of binging all these TV series. The fact that I can sleep in if I want to. I don't have to wake up at 7 a.m. every day like I do right now. But there is that phase where you just enjoy it a little too much. And then the next phase, and I feel like that's where I'm at, and I hope I stay here, but I'm sure it'll change, is balance. I feel like I have a handle on this pandemic. I'm very comfortable right now. I have my lazy days, I have my productive days. I finally have it all leveled out, and I feel really good right now. Again, that could change tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm not drinking my coffee. So I actually started writing like a pros and cons list. When 2020 took a turn for me is when the boyfriend and I broke up. It was just sadly long distance. I started recovering from that and then COVID happened. <laughs> and then I got home, which was great, but quarantine has a different effect on you. It sounds all good on paper, but I felt like there were some pretty dark days. And then my grandma passed. Black Lives Matter it started with major trauma with George Floyd and the police. So I definitely thought it was the worst year for sure. As far as pros for the year, I've literally been handed what I've wanted for a long time on a platter. I've gotten a break from life. How does life just stop? Well, COVID. So this is the first time I've been able to just be still. I still do stuff every day, but I've been able to just breathe for months. Also family, I had a feeling I wasn't gonna see my family for another couple of years if I was gonna hop to one more ship. And here I am, I was able to be home for my grandma's funeral. I also never would have moved to the Rocky Mountains, ever. It's just such a random state in my life that it, there would be no reason I would have moved here. My mom moved here to be with her boyfriend, who is awesome, we're all living together. And Littleton is great, and this apartment is great, our backyard, is the foothills, oh. like Red Rocks, everything is so great here and I would have never experienced it if this pandemic didn't happen. I mean, my mom probably would have moved here regardless and I probably would have visited here, but I'm living here and I'm experiencing it in a different way. And lastly, I would like to think that I would have taken more classes or gotten more creative or choreographed more if this pandemic didn't happen, but the truth is, at least to the extent that I have been doing it, I don't think I would have been able to do it without COVID to be honest. Yeah, so cheers to that. There are a lot of quotes going around Instagram that say things like, don't give up on 2020 yet. This might be the year that we needed to see 2020 vision. Yeah, we would have never stopped and smelled the roses if the pandemic didn't happen. So hopefully you can find the good out there because there is some good. Utilize your free time. That being said, be okay with not doing anything in your free time. And just focus on the good. So I hope you're doing well, using your time to your advantage, however that might be. And I hope you're finding happiness. Do what you love, whatever that means. Watching Netflix, dancing outside your door. Oh yeah. Cheers, 2020. All right, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Cuddle with my cat. Okay, bye. <laughs>